What's good, YouTube? We back at it again. We are very behind, so we're gonna try to knock all this shit down tonight. For this segment, it's gonna be at the God Speaks, and we're gonna talk about our Chris Ariola and Nonito Donaire ready for the elite in the division, as we are trying to be led, led to believe they are. I'm gonna pass it to my man, Sess. Oh, what yeah. do you think about Nonito Donaire's uh, performance against Cesar Juarez, and is he ready? For Vasil Lomachenko, the guy that he's been calling out. Absolutely not, 2K. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, man. He looked like shit. Yes, he did. You know? He started off good, um, but the finish, I mean, he, there was no reason for him to finish the fight the way that he finished it. You know, if you, if you, if you start strong, you got to finish strong. Yep. You know, if you drop in a cat, then then it's on you to get him the fuck out of there. I don't care how tough he is. Yep. You know, the, the, the one thing a dude is not going to do um, when, he's, when, when he's at that elite level is drop a guy uh, more than once and then start going to war with him. You know, mm -hmm. you don't do that. You have to slow. And if that does happen, you got to dig down, slow the fight down, and then get back and get back on track. Yep. And Nonito Donet look, he looked horrible, man. In the 12th round, I literally, I was literally looking at him and I was going, he's done. He's finished. You know, um, not for them to stop the fight because I thought Donet was done, but just in terms of him looking like a shot fighter, man. He yeah. looked, he just looked bad to me, you know? But th this is the news. I mean, he looked shot against uh, Victor Chinyan. Yeah, you know yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And he, he looked shot against uh, uh, the Axe Man. Oh, yeah, Nicholas uh, Walters. Yeah. yeah, my boy Nicholas Walters. So, so nah, man, he's finished, man. Um, what really made, what really pissed me off was that I believe he won the WBO title, the same title yeah. that Rigondeaux beat his ass in head. So, it, it, it's, it's, it's just a bunch of bullshit, man. You know, like I said, the, Fili the Filipino Flash is is no more ladies and gentlemen and i i know it's i know it's hard for a lot of people to hear that because they they like him i personally like him i think he's a cool dude you know i think he's a good guy outside the ring but I, when i was watching this fight man this was nothing like what i uh what i remember what i remember seeing him do before the rigandale fight right you know, when you've been knocked out or when when you've been beaten really bad and then you get knocked out. You know, uh, you you got to start thinking about your career in long term. You know, you got to start thinking about your life outside the ring. And like I said, man, uh, to me, and maybe I'm being over overly critical, but to me, it looked horrible. You know, he looked horrible. Man, he doesn't need to be in the ring with uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko. The only thing he can do, the only thing he can do. With uh, is something that he's used to doing, and that's coming in the ring bigger than the guy um, that's in front of him. That's the only thing he can do with Lomachenko. But with Lomachenko's skill set, that should give him more of a target to punch at, yep. you know. Um, and another thing, I I know a lot of people are gonna question that, but another thing is Orlando Salido. Yes, he was bigger than Lomachenko, and he posed a lot of problems to Lomachenko. But Nanito Donaire is not that type of a fighter. No, he's, he's not. not He's not as dirty, and he's not going to come at Lomachenko like that. Exactly. So he's going to get the dust beat off of his ass. And it's yep. going to be embarrassing, man. Well, I mean, how do you beat the dog shit out of a guy in the fourth round to the point where you almost get him out of there, and oh. then fast forward up to the ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th round, you're fucking hanging out by the ropes looking for one big shot while you're getting 15 shots. You're taking 15 shots straight to the dome piece. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you in a fucking uh, 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 live or die fight with a guy that you should have knocked out in the fourth round. I mean, that 
that's a testament to a fighter's mental fortitude. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. he does not have it. He's not ready for a guy yeah. like Vasil Lomachenko. The angles will fucking yeah. kill him. Man, I'm ready to say Vasil knocks him out within five. Probably do. You yeah. know, I could I could see him knocking uh, because Lomachenko throws some very, 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 very good body shots. Yeah. Yeah. And I can see Lomachenko slowing him down with those body shots and then stopping him. Yeah. I mean, Donair is done. He's he's finished, man. Yeah. He's finished. He needs to go and be a photographer. <laughs> now, I think. I'll tell you, dude. I think you know he's got some skills. Uh, you know, holding the camera, and man. and that's probably what he needs to do, man. And they need to move down here to Dallas. Yep. Go ahead and get that job at that local Kroger's B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, and bag nah, my motherfucking man. groceries, nigga. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Damn. Oh, man. shit. <laughs> All right. Next topic. This is going to be the last for the guy who speaks. Chris Ariola, back in the ring. He lost a lot of flab for this fight, but he still looked fat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it's, I mean, this was battle of the fat. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I mean, it was two motherfuckers that look like you could chop some pork off their back, man. That's what yeah. it looked like in the fight. I mean, Travis Kaufman was a big fat motherfucker. When my girl, my girl came out of the room and was looking at the TV while I was watching, she was like, damn, my man's fat is like hanging over his fucking protector. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Battle of the flab. Uh, it's, a, it's also a battle I think Chris Ariola lost. You know what yep. I'm saying? Travis Kaufman dropped him early on in the fight. Um, and then later on in the fight, he was beating him to the punch. Uh, Chris Ariola was running into punches. Now, to be fair, the fight was where? In San Antonio, Texas, right? Oh, my God. About five and a half hours away from here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. San Antonio is, or at least Texas, has the most corrupt boxing commission, with San Antonio being the leading city where all the corruption happens. Okay, I've seen way too many motherfucking ridiculous ass decisions, uh, waved off fights in the city of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. All right, whenever a fight is being signed, right, and a card is made for an event to happen in San Antonio, and I look at the card, and there'll be a you know a card full of Mexicans or Latinos, right, yeah. fighting against white, black, whatever, or maybe lesser known Latinos automatically going for the more popular Latino or the Latino himself. Oh, automatically. Absolutely. They're going to yeah. give it to him. You know, that's just yeah. how it works in San Antonio. It's fucking ridiculous. But that's how it's work. That's how it works. And people can't fucking deny this. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. it's too many too many decisions in our history where this has happened. And this yeah. was just another one. All right. Uh, Chris Ariola looked good early on in the fight. Um, but I just firmly believe that this fight could have either went Travis Kaufman's way or a draw. Chris Ariola couldn't have taken this fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now they're talking about putting him up there again with the elite so he can get another title shot. Who uh, the fuck can Chris Ariola beat besides Eric Molina? Who? Nobody. Exactly. Tyson Fury beats him. Deontay Wilder knocks him out. Ruslan Shagaev probably knocks him out. All right. Yeah. Let's let's get into the non-champions. Luis Ortiz knocks him out. Oh. <laughs> uh, Bryant Jennings beats the shit out of him. Uh, Alexander Povetkin knocks him out. Mm -hmm. These are guys that aren't even fucking champions. Erkan Tepper probably knocks him out. All right. The only guys that he could fight is like Lucas Brown. You know what I'm saying? And I think Lucas Brown might fucking knock him out. Uh, <laughs> Who can? He's done. Yeah. Stop giving these fighters these these bogus ass decisions or putting them against bum ass fighters. Not saying Travis Kaufman was a bum. Obviously he won. But bum ass fighters to try to get their motivation back, only to see these motherfuckers wilt when they get in the ring with a real fighter, with a real live body. Mm -hmm. He's done. If he wants to Finish. fight, exactly. If he wants to fight for money, then please let him do that. But don't mention his name with the elite in the division. Stop it. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of this segment. The God speaks. Do what you do in the comment section. Will be real. This is real talk for real fans. One.